Meet Jay Ferring. They have already completed a number of internships and work for a global not-for-profit tackling energy poverty, and they're not even close to finishing their degree. We have so many labs and so many machines that you really can't get anywhere else, and I think that's really cool because it means the students here can really take those machines and really actually put it into real-world practice. Already in their third year of study, Jay still has a while to go before graduation, but understands just how important the real-world technology they're learning at Swinburne will be in the real world. It's really important to have that basic understanding, otherwise you'll put a bridge together and not understand how it works, or you'll build a robot to do something and it just won't work because it'll fall apart because you don't know the physics or the electronics that go into it. Outside of their classes, Jay is a part of five university groups and helps with their overseas charity and works over the summer in the steel recycling plant called InfraBuild. A huge issue in the world is power poverty, electricity poverty. So sending solar lanterns out that people can use to charge phones, to power and have light for the whole day um, is really cool because it's sustainable. For Jay, the best thing about their degree at Swinburne is the access to cutting edge technology every day. I love it. It's so exciting. Um, I always really love working with machines, um, but at home I only get to play with the small ones like 3D printers or small laser cutters and stuff like that. But at uni, being able to play with the massive machines, it's just like, oh my God. And I just can't wait to get to that point in my degree where I get to use them. Mm -hmm.